And then you literally can eat the whole green crab. Of course, it won't be squirming around at that time, but it'll be good and cooked. Hey guys, this is Tideful Tim, and today we're gonna take a look at a soft shell version of the common invasive green crab. Squish, 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 squish. They are an invasive species. They're all up and down the coast, especially in the estuaries. We all know that they are decimating populations. These green crabs are killing and eating not only themselves because they're cannibalistic, but they are killing and eating baby steamer clams, baby lobsters, juvenile fish, worms, scallops, mussels. In fact, along the coast of Maine, all of the blue mussel beds that once were very common at the low tide mark are all gone. It's because of these voracious invasive predators. So when we look at green crabs, currently there's not much of a market for them. You can trap thousands of pounds a day, but no one wants to buy them. And here on the coast, the soft shell green crab, if we can find them, if we can grow them, if we can get them to molt, is a, is a delicacy. They bread them, they deep fry them, and very much like soft shell crab in the Chesapeake Bay area where they're eating blue crabs, this green crab may be a new culinary treat. And what we have here is about 35 soft shell green crabs that a local fisherman uh, brought to us. And the way that he found the, these molted green crabs is he's right in the rockweed beds, literally flipping over the seaweed. And here's this little female green crab. She's molted a couple days ago, or maybe even one day ago, and her whole exoskeleton is all squishy, including her, her walking legs, her claws, and her carapace. So she will hide in that rockweed for a few days and, and the shell will harden up like a rock. And at that point, she'll go back out eating and decimating all of the other organisms in the ecosystem. So let's say this is a hard shell green crab. It's been eating and it's been growing and it's literally getting too large for its, its shell, its exoskeleton. What happens in the way that the molting occurs is there's a little break right here between the carapace and essentially where the tail meets and the crab cracks itself open and literally walks backwards out of this hole and pulls its leg second leg, third leg, fourth leg out, pulls its pincher claws out, its other walking legs, and then it walks out backwards. And then it's a soft shell and it needs to hide or it will be eaten, not only by other green crabs, but by fish, perhaps even starfish, I'm not certain. Now say you wanna go down to the shore and look for soft shell green crabs. It's very easy uh, to spot them. They typically are a, a bright green color and they're also, they're very well hidden in the seaweed. What we do when we find when we see a crab is we just push on the carapace and if it gives way, if it squishes in, then you've got a soft shell. And so long as you keep them not in water, like you see here, I just put this water in for the video, but just keep them in a, a sealed container out of the water, they will stay soft shell because they only harden up when they're in the seawater. And then you literally can eat the whole green crab. Of course, it won't be squirming around at that time, but it'll be good and cooked. Hey guys, we got our little bucket and we're gonna go down the shore in front of the house here and pick through the rockweed and see if we can find some uh, soft shell crabbies. Oh, there's one. Wow, now here's one you can tell is definitely not a soft shell. Number one, it's so sassy. Number two, you can almost hear it. Now listen to this guy. Is this a soft shell you ask? No, it is not. That is a hard shell. Green crab, and it is ready to bite. Oh, here we go, here we go, right here. Look. And what you do, put your thumb on it. Yeah, that's a perfect soft shell crab. It's a male. Oh boy, that one is, must have just molted. So squishy, even it's pincher claws. Throw that in the bucket. It's a softie, I think. Oh, no, it is not. Oh, no, it is. It's still a little bit soft. So this one is hardened up, probably molted a couple days ago. But still, its body's relatively squishy. And you can see how it's buried down in the mud. It did not want to be found. Let's see. Nope, that's a hard shell. Let's see. Wow. Oh, oh. female. Yeah. We got a male and a female. No, actually two males. 